American coaster enthusiasts, we are here at Dollywood and it, 2023 is looking really good here. If you caught our announcement that we streamed earlier, but now how about a little more detail because I know you've got a lot of questions. I am Elizabeth Ringus, your communications director, and I'm coming to you with Pete Owens, director of marketing for Dolly Entertainment. So 2023. Y'all are the CoasterCon host, and we're excited because you just revealed Big Bear Mountain. Why are coaster enthusiasts going to be excited about this? Well, it's a great ride. It's a, it's a Vacoma ride. It is a really unique layout. It's a huge ride for us. It wraps all the way around Wildwood Grove, triple launch. It is a family coaster, what we would consider a family thrill coaster, what you guys would consider a family thrill coaster. A lot of airtime, a lot of unique elements. It goes behind a waterfall, uh, it drops into a tunnel, it has onboard audio, but it tells a really cool story. That is exciting, and because it's Dolly, do we have some incorporation of butterflies? So we have decided to brand the airtime moments butterfly moments because that helps Dolly understand what we're talking about. And Dolly was here for the announcement today. She is very involved. Tell us about her involvement in the project. Is it an inspiration from something she loves or what brought this to us? So it really goes back to about 2016, 2017 when we started talking about Wildwood Grove. So the idea was we wanted to tell a story that was really based on her um, childhood and how she used to wander off follow butterflies, do all of these things when she was a kid, and she would dream up places like Wildwood Grove that she would run into. And so we knew after we built Wildwood Grove that there would be more places for us to be able to expand. Phase two, which is what Big Bear Mountain is, there's additional acreage there for a phase three opportunity, and we knew that there were gonna be more stories we wanted to tell. I know that coaster enthusiasts are itching for opening time, so we'll be ready in time for CoasterCon. Absolutely. Okay. I am very excited, and I'm sure coaster enthusiasts are now starting to figure it out. How do they make sure they get to CoasterCon? Well, I think you've got to join ACE. You got to go to aceonline.org and you got to sign up for ACE and then sign up for CoasterCon. And we look forward to seeing you guys come uh, visit us here at Dollywood. We have a lot of surprises in store. You know, Dolly fancies butterflies. Yes, everyone, he does. Everyone knows, everyone knows how much that is. So, you know, in my interpretation and bringing that to a roller coaster design was the airtime moments. So I wanted to try to maximize our airtime moments, which is how we designed 23 different airtime moments into the engineering of our coaster because I wanted to honor Dolly. The second thing was the waterfalls designed into our ride is a really fun way to honor her love of the Smoky Mountains triple launch, which is really cool for a family attraction. It is, what a wonderful, unique, Piece to bring to that progression of experiences. Someone can start a dragon flyer, then they move up to Big Bear Mountain. You're building an amazing progression of, you're building coaster enthusiasts. I'm trying to start young. It has a, a height limit of 39 inches. I want to be able to go from the youngest rider to grandma and grandpa, being able to feel comfortable riding the ride. When you put your RFP out to different manufacturers, did you have some specific manufacturers that you wanted to target, or did you just go broad and see what came back? I, I put it out broadly. Four people competed uh, for the project, and Vacoma won the rights to be our partner uh, for this new ride. I saw a lot of interesting and creative approaches to layout design that can be leveraged on future attractions, I think. The length of the rod was really important to me. Okay. I know how big of a coaster uh, group we have coming here to enjoy our property. And a long coaster experience with a lot of airtime moments, I think it's gonna prove to be popular when some folks visit us. Uh, next year. I think, and you are. You are the host of CoasterCon in 23, and you're building us a brand new roller coaster for that. So it's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun experience. I know what attraction we're doing in 2030. Oh, uh, and is there a certain acreage in the park that we can look forward to expanding? We own 1,100 acres. So what do you think? I think you could do a lot with 1,100 acres. You know, within, you know, within our our acreage, I dedicated 400 acres towards master planning for resorts. We have a beautiful water park, 
that needs to expand. Ah. And we have a great amount of acreage here on property to take advantage of. And that's something not to forget when everybody's coming out to CoasterCon is you do have a unique water park and we'll be here in the middle of summer and I will say everybody, it is balmy today. Yep. So if it's yep. anything like this at CoasterCon, we will need the water park. Yeah, it's warm, but it's August in the Smokies. Exactly, yes. Well, Gene, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here and I look forward to seeing you next year. Absolutely, we'll be here.